Hi Techies, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about top 4 HTTP status codes. Okay, in this video I am going to explain what is HTTP status codes and what are those HTTP status codes and what it means. Okay, let's start. What is HTTP status code? HTTP status code means when you send a request from client to the server, you will get a response from server. In each response from the server, we will have different status codes. Okay, that is called HTTP status code. Status code is a numerical value which represents different meaning for the different response. Okay, so let's start with the HTTP status codes and what, what that status codes mean. Okay, we'll start with 200 series status codes. 200 series status codes will fall under successful response from server. Okay, so we will have 200, 201 and 204 HTTP status codes. What is meaning of 200? 200 means you send a request from client and the request is OK and it is successful. OK, so that is called 200 HTTP status code. Next one is 201 status code. 201 means you send a post request for the creation of records to the server and record is created successfully from the server. OK, and you will get a response as 201. 201 means your request is successful and record has been created. Okay, next one is 204. 204 means there is when, when you send a request from client, right, to the server to fetch some data, there is no content, then you will get a response 204 for that request. Okay, so I hope you got what is the meaning of 200 series HTTP status codes. Okay. We'll go with 300 series HTTP status codes. 300 series HTTP status codes falls under redirection. Okay, when you want, when you send a request from client to the server, request will be redirected to some other location. Okay, so we have two status codes like 300 and 301. Okay, 300 means the uh, the request is not available it is already moved the url which we are using it is not available and it is already moved okay we can't read it to the particular server okay 301 means the request is successfully served and redirection is happened to the particular server means 301 means the redirection server is found location is found and it is successfully served. So mostly these two responses are not an error responses. It is successful responses only. Okay. Then it won't give any error. It will give 300 and 301. This, this error codes will be false under the redirection. So I hope you got what, what is the meaning of 300 series HTTP status codes. Okay. Let's move to 400 series status codes. 400 series status codes will fall under client error. So these status codes mostly developer will debug and analyze and fix the issues. Okay, it will fall under errors. Okay, so we will have uh, 400, 401, 403, 404 as the status codes in 400 series. Okay, so first of all, 401. 401 is for bad a request if there is a bad request to the server it will give 400 error okay and 401 for the unauthorized request if the credential is incorrect uh, then 401 will happens okay and um, next one is 403 403 for forbidden if the request is forbidden then you'll get 403 http status code and next one is 404. 
404 is when you try to access the server and the request location is not found then it will send the response as 404 status code so i hope you got what is 400 series http status codes mean okay let's move to the next one we will have 500 series status codes 500 series status codes falls under server errors server errors will occurs for the most of the applications okay let's check each error code what it mean okay i mean http status error code okay 500 http status code means internal server error if there is any internal server error happens then you will get response as 500 status code next one is 501 it happens when the requested uh, service right or requested uh, endpoint is not at all implemented okay that time you will get 501 http status code okay our next one is 502 502 this the status code happens when there is a bad gateway okay bad gateway request okay and our next one is 503 503 happens when the service itself unavailable so this is commonly occurring application when service is down okay so 503 is mostly occurring thing okay and our next one is 504 504 is gateway timeout when there is a timeout with the gateway then this http status code will occur okay and you will get the response as 504 uh, 504 http status code okay so i hope you got 500 series http status codes details okay so i hope you understood what is http status code and what are the http status codes are available and what are the what it mean okay so please like this video comment on this video please subscribe to my channel okay i will come up with more tech videos okay see you soon